Well, I started 20 years ago almost. Uh, I walked by in the mall and I saw people painting in a store. And so I went in and said, what's this all about? And they said, oh, we're painting banners for the city of Nanaimo. And I went, oh, really? And so this lady said, would you like to paint one? And I said, sure. So I came in and she told me more about it. And I heard that these banners were being painted to hang up downtown Nanaimo. And they hang up all summer to the fall and then they come down in the fall. And I thought, well, geez, that's a really neat project. So I entered and I got to paint one. And then after, while I was painting one, I thought, oh, this would be such a cool job. Every year now I have people coming saying to me, when are we going to start the banners? They also enjoy seeing all the artwork downtown because it, it, the colors are so bright, it beautifies it. And so every year we, we pick a different theme, but this was a very important year for us. Being at the Banner Festival has lasted so far for 25 years. That's a long time. And it's all non-profit, and it's all volunteer painting, and so it's really special to the city of Nanaimo. You have people who are senior citizens. You have people who are handicapped. You have children from schools. You have children from the public. You have youth, and anybody can do it. You don't have to be an artist to do this, because once I get that little sample, I take it, photocopy it onto acetate, and I draw it out on the banner for you, so all you have to do is come in and paint and follow your lines. But you can see why it's so interesting for them to do. They don't have to draw it themselves. They just come in and just start painting. Follow the lines. Um, I guess it helped because I didn't have to really think like this goes here, that goes here. I could just say, okay, that color is that. Then I put it there because I can already like see what's going on. And a lot of people might have a lot of problems with color but you know we're there to help them with their colors and choose their colors if they're a little bit unsure we'll we'll definitely help them out with any color help they need not much of a painter i guess i have difficulty with color and paint and things like that so i try and keep things pretty linear and i can work with that a little bit better hopefully it'll look good as a poster kind of thing just up there on the uh, street, you know, above eye level kind of thing. So. We've been coming to the Banner Festival, I guess, for four years since we moved to the West Coast. Uh, we came out here and noticed there was art everywhere. We noticed the, uh, the banners in Nanaimo and uh, just the color and the vibrancy of the city. And it was an interesting way just to get involved in it and promote the community and have a good deal of fun at the same time. Well, this is... Uh, part of a pair of banners, I guess. Uh, they're both boats. This one is supposed to be very tranquil, very calm. The other is a boat out on the ocean. It's churning, there's a lot of motion. And I just wanted to reflect those two opposites, sort of motion and rest, tranquility and activity. I think it's really important because it beautifies uh, the downtown Nanaimo. The tourists come, they look at all the banners and it represents the the art uh, of this area. I think uh, Vancouver Island's really well known for its art and artists, uh, musicians and so on. The banners are just one way of uh, showing the creativity of, uh, of the residents here on the island. And my husband and I, we come here together. We drive actually from Bowser, beautiful Bowser, <laughs> and uh, so it's uh, not quite an hour drive, but it's worth it. This was a painting of some roses and flowers, and I, I do a lot of folk art on wooden objects, trays, and things like that. In folk art, there's a technique where you dip your brush in two different colors, and with one simple stroke, you get a blend of all the colors. Yeah. But when you put it on this banner, it's too, too big to do that. So um, I start off, and you always do the light colors first, because if there's drips, you can rub them off right away. You go and you paint one side and then you go and paint the other side so it dries and then you carry on down to the bottom and then you have a thin script liner that you outline the black lines with and that helps to show it off. This is more a traditional one for me. Yeah. I usually paint something fairly wild with sunsets and <laughs> so on, but I've been enjoying this. It's a bit different. Uh, 
I'm a retired teacher and I found out about the Banner Festival because one of my grade four students found out about it and did a banner for the festival and uh, um, I looked into it from there. I've been doing it now probably 10 years. Some people come in are artists who paint for a living. There are other people who are sort of casual artists. There are people who've never painted before. And everybody goes away with something that they're proud of. It looks like very little effort. For us it is, but to put it all together I know is a huge collaborative project. I've seen some wonderful work done by students in here. They come from the public school system and the private system, and uh, we all have a great time here, don't we, Robert? This is Robert's first time, but he's working on his second banner already this year. There's people in here that have told me they've learned so much just coming in and learning how to paint a banner, so that's nice to hear too, because then, well, then you know you're doing the right job. In 2007, uh, my friend and I, and we did banners with our class and then I also did my own banner later. And right now I have students who I'm currently working and they're doing banners too, so I have three of them doing them. That's good. The earth is in it. Uh, that's connected to the land, spirituality, that kind of stuff. Um, but it's also an eye and it's also a drum, it's the heartbeat. We go to the public schools and ask them if they would like to participate and I get in touch with the teachers and the principals and we talk back and forth and then we have students uh, pick out a design that they're going to draw, they bring them in here, let me see them. The teacher just gave us a piece of paper and said draw a simple design. So I just thought for a while and drew sunset. I really like dolphins jumping out of the water so and I like sunset, so I just made a person looking out to the sunset. It kind of looks like my sister. Well, I like painting it. I liked um, finding the colors and drawing it. When I was doing it, I thought it would be really hard, and it was, but it's worth it at the end. We like to have the public schools come in here because we have a big space. We have all the banner stands here. We have all the paints for them and I draw it all out for them and all their paints are ready for them when they come in. So all they have to do is come in and paint. They paint one day to do both sides and outline it. So we just have the outlining and then we gotta do the black part. One of the school supervisors picked about 20 students and I was one of the people picked. I've done painting in houses and for school performances. I do the same thing as her. I help with school plays and everything like that. I don't know, I just love rainbows and then like, these, these are mostly like my favorite colors too. It just looked cool and I thought it would um, look good hanging up. My teacher said I could come here and do it. And I'm from Uplands Park School. The high schools, they're a little bit different. They're a little bit more independent. The teachers will take the project on in the high schools themselves. The teachers organize it, paint them in the classrooms, and then at the end of the project, they bring them to me, and then we stencil the Nanaimo Art Gallery onto the bottom. So the process of doing a banner is the painter has to make a design on a 4 by 8 card, uh, cardstock paper preferably. They color it in and then they outline it in fine black marker. Then they bring it to us and we look at it and study it to see if it will go with this year's theme or whatever theme we have for that particular year. And then I take them, I photocopy them onto acetate and then I take the acetate and put it in an overhead projector. Then I put the banner on the wall and put the acetate into the projector and it projects onto the wall. Then I trace that actual banner that that person has drawn 
onto the banner that's hanging on the wall. Then I take it off the wall and I hang it up into our beautiful stands for everybody ready to paint. And then when they're all painted on both sides, and then they have to outline in black, and then they have to paint the bottom part black so I can stencil on Nanaimo Art Gallery. And when that's all done, they sign it. And then when they're done that, they come off. And then the next person goes up. I number them all with paint and I have, to, I have a map to look at through the city and every street pole has a code number. So I have to put that code number on the banner to match the street pole so the city of Nanaimo knows where I want to hang these banners. The sponsors get TV coverage, they get video coverage. They're on our website. They're in our newspapers when we have newspaper articles about the banner. Different companies will sponsor us money in order to do this project. If they didn't, we wouldn't be able to do this project because it's totally non-profit. By the time we're finished a banner, even though the painters only pay $8 to paint, $25 to buy the banner, it costs us $100 per banner. So we rely on the donations to make up for the difference in the cost of one banner. Sponsors are 90% of, of the whole project. If, if we didn't have them, we wouldn't have this project.